can you solve this mystery? This is a story about a young girl whose brother confessed to killing their parents, but things are not as they seem. All the clues to what really happened are hidden in what I'm about to say. So one day, this young girl decided to tell her friend about the terrible tragedy. Her friend asked about what happened to her brother after the confession. She said he got arrested, went to trial, and eventually was found guilty and sentenced to death by lethal injection. During the execution, her brother never said a word. He gave no explanation and just stared at her blankly as they gave him the injection. The young girl admitted after that she couldn't eat or sleep. She had so many questions, but no one left to give her answers. She tried to block out the terrible memories and suffered from depression and even amnesia. The friend suggested she go to a psychic to find some answers, so she did. She asked, what drove my brother to lose his mind? And the psychic said, your brother was always perfectly sane. The girl asked, so then why did my brother kill our parents? And the psychic said, your brother was only responsible for the death of one person. Suddenly, the girl understood everything. She broke down crying. What really happened to this family? Can you solve this mystery? The weirdest thing that ever happened to my family is my sister finding out she was dating our long lost brother. You're probably asking, how did this happen? So when my sister was about one, my mom was pregnant with another baby. She ended up birthing my brother, but me being one years old really didn't understand. Like you really can't comprehend that you have a brother at that age. And fairly soon after this, my parents ended up getting a divorce. So my dad was originally from Germany and he decided to move back. Well, because you can't really do weekend visitations in Germany, my parents made the executive decision to split up the kids. My mom kept us and my dad got my brother. And we honestly didn't care. We didn't really know what was going on at that age. And after that, we didn't have any more contact. So fast forward 20 years later, my mom and my sister aren't really talking because of a whole separate situation. And she was going to our town's community college and met a boy. We can call him John. Well, John asked her out on a date and they ended up dating for five more years. Over the years, she learned stuff like his dad was from Germany, his dad passed away, and he didn't really have any contact with his mom. The weirdest thing. Story time about when my mom caught me doing it with my best friend. I was 16 at the time and there was this new boy that moved in across the street from us. He was super cute and I noticed him right away. My parents were super strict. I wasn't allowed to have a boyfriend or even any guy friends and I knew right away that I wanted to at least become this guy's friend because he was so cute. So one day I told my mom, hey, why don't we take cookies or something to um, welcome the new neighbors in town? And my mom was like, that's a great idea. So we end up going over and we meet them. They're really nice. And the cute boy comes downstairs and he tells his mom he's going to go to Bible study. Well, when we get home, I tell my mom, hey, you know what? Maybe I should join a Bible study group too. And my mom was like, great idea. She even told me to go ask him about it since he had mentioned it. One day he's mowing the lawn. So I decided to go talk to him and ask him about the Bible study group. He actually ended up taking me there that same day and we had a fun class. Over the next few weeks, we became really, really good friends. Best friends. We told each other everything. But there was always attraction between. Story time. Story time about how my boyfriend almost ruined my relationship with my sister. So a little background information. I was 16 and I was a sophomore in high school at the time. Well, we're going to call my boyfriend Alex. And whenever Alex and I first started dating, I would literally brag to all my friends about how nice he was, about how he treated me so good. Well, fast forward a few months, him and I were still dating. And originally my sister scared him. But eventually, he had been around long enough to the point where they were super cool. Well, after that, I started realizing some off things. For example, the one night he was texting me, and all of a sudden, he just stopped responding. And I knew that he didn't fall asleep because he was still texting my sister. Well, that should have been the first red flag, but as we know, I am blind to seeing red flags. Anyways, I didn't want to seem jealous of my sister, so I just decided to play it cool and act normal. But him, on the other hand... Like for part two. Story time about how I did the dirty with a celebrity. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. I've been modeling for the past two years, specifically on Instagram. I basically made it my job to DM as many celebrities as I possibly could. I knew that it would only be a matter of time before at least one said yes. And that's what happened many times. I would usually DM about five celebrities a day, men and women. The next day, I checked my DMs and one of them had written back. This was a huge celebrity who I was not expecting to reply, but I was freaking out. We had a conversation all through DM and then he asked me for my phone number. So we moved over to texting and quickly he asked me if I wanted to get together. I was like, duh. So we decided to meet at a bar. But because of COVID, we decided we would both get tested and then meet up. Really responsible. We both tested negative and then I got ready and went to the bar. Of course, I was extremely nervous. I show up to the bar and he greets me right away and we just start having a conversation. He asked me if I wanted to be an actress and told me that he could help me out with that. But we all know that was just a lie. We go to his car and start making story time story time my craziest client experience i'm just gonna give you a couple info before i get into the story my client she's around 65 70 
and she was also in the sex industry so with that being said i was doing her nails and she always likes her nails pointy because that's what she said her clients liked so i'm just doing my job you know doing her nails and then i get to the filing part and she receives a facetime call i really didn't think much of it you know i'm just minding my business filing her nail and then out of nowhere she just straight up pulls out her chichis <laughs> and she asks the guy for something in return and then she asks me if i want to see i passed <laughs> And then she hung up and she said that's one of her clients she's about to see later. And that she wanted her nails extra pointy. Who knows what they were up to. <laughs> Story time. Has anyone ever tried to talk to you in a public bathroom? Once a young girl went into a public bathroom and heard from the stall next to hers, shall we put on the red vest? She got scared, ran off, and called the police. Two officers arrived. One went in and heard the same voice asking, shall we put on the red vest? The officer outside heard her reply, okay, put it on. Suddenly, a loud scream, then a thump. The second officer opened the door to check on his partner, then found her head rolling on the ground and blood all the way down her back, making it look like she was wearing a red vest. In Japanese urban legend, the Akamanto is a ghost who haunts bathrooms, specifically female bathrooms. He wears a red cape and hides his face with a white mask. If he chooses you, he will ask you if you want to wear a red vest or a blue vest. If you say red, he will chop your head off. If you say blue, he will grab you by the neck until your face turns blue and you suffocate. If you try to ask for a third color, the floor will open up and a pair of pale hands will reach up and drag you to hell. Has anyone Extremely creepy story time on how my aunt passed away. So a little background information. About five years ago, my aunt had gotten pregnant. It was really weird because a few months before she got pregnant, the doctor told her that she would never be able to have kids. And her and her husband had been trying for years. Well, I think like two weeks after the baby was born, it had passed away. And I don't really know why. For some reason, my mom won't tell me. Which is weird, but anyways, after that, my aunt just felt like a lot of things weren't going the way that she wanted them to in her life. So she decided to get closer with God. Well, every Sunday night, we go to my grandparents' house for a family dinner. And while we were there, my aunt starts going on this whole rampage. She said that God's not giving her the answers that she needs, and I don't really know what she means by answers. So my grandparents kick her out because she's acting like a psycho. Well, the same night at 3 a.m. in the morning, we hear a knocking on the door. And lo and behold, it's my aunt. So my mom lets her in because she feels bad and feels like she's the only one that will actually listen to my aunt. So she makes everybody sit at the kitchen table. And she pulls out a Ouija board from her bag, like for part two. Story time. So on New Year's, my friend and I went to a house party. And she ends up leaving to go to the bathroom. But when she comes out like three to five minutes later, she's just like, guys, help. So like I look at her, I'm like, what, what's wrong? And she's like, shh, I broke the toilet. <laughs> is filled to the rim with water and there's just three pieces of toilet paper just chilling on top and i'm like what did you do she starts freaking out and she's the people before me didn't flush i thought i was okay to flush but it wasn't okay so one of our other friends comes in here's the story and she's like okay hold on i'm gonna go get the house owner and my friend starts freaking out being like no don't tell him he's gonna kill me our friend gets him anyway and he comes in unbuttoning his shirt he's just like did someone call a plumber and then he sees the toilet. Do this, Charlotte.